G'day and welcome to another episode of my studio build and this week we're going to be looking at the installation of my air conditioning unit and my mate Andrew's back again to have another crack at my intercom system I think it's project number prototype number two so he had some issues as I said once before about um, trying to get it to work and do what I wanted so that's going to be interesting and then we have the last wall goes in our little wall here actually gets done so that all the wall frame is up and then we go along and I talk about and discuss what's going on with the main front wall where my console goes and where the installation, the cable through the wall, how I get the television on the wall and all that sort of stuff goes on. And then we start on the ceiling. So we only really get half of the ceiling done. So where the main beam is that runs through the middle of the studio, the front section of that so I can get the front done so I can get my console into place and then I come later on and do the back end of the studio. So the main front section is going to be basically finished off where the air conditioning unit is going to go. And then at the end, I sit down and I discuss where I am, what I'm doing and where I'm up to. So hopefully you enjoy yourself. Give us a thumbs up and then make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you can keep up with us. So enjoy yourselves and here's to the music. Cheers. Okay, so the aircon's going in today. I just had to finish off a partial part of the wall so you can see a bit of the trim's up. That's the paint colour. So I've done the trim down the wall. So this part of the area is complete. So that's what it's going to look like finished apart from the, uh, apart from the gal uh, rafters there. As you can see, that'll, I've got to get some undercoat to bond to it. So, but there she is, there's my unit. We will be nice and cool in here as of tomorrow. Okay, here's a friend of mine, Andrew. He's an electronics engineer and he's designing my intercom that'll go along and put a strobe light on outside when I'm actually recording and there's a switch inside that I can actually flick that light on. Also, it, instead of having a buzzer going off on the intercom, it will give me a strobe light inside so I can actually see instead of hearing. So while I'm recording, there's no noise. So there's been a bit of mucking around with this unit to make it all work. So he's come over here with the finished unit. So we're gonna get it all wired up and then we're gonna test it out, make sure it's ready to go and then I'll fully fit it off when it's actually, well, when the studio is finished, which is not too far off. So I think this was prototype number two. Two, yeah. Yeah, the first one didn't quite work because there's only very, very low voltage running out through the phone set. So it's not easy getting that to work. I think you've even had to throw in another power supply, didn't you, to give it up at, up its... Oh, no, I needed another the other power supply anyway. Yeah. But uh, I needed a power supply to supply 12 volts direct rather than coming off the intercom when this is switched on. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, sweet as. And then show your little unit off. Give a quick idea what, what it's going to be used for. Basic, oh, basic unit, just got to hook that up. So there's a strobe light underneath, so, so that will fit underneath my console, which is on the left hand side where the phone is. So there's a blue strobe on the right hand side is my door latch release. That's the latch release, that's the on off and record outside. Yeah, that's to uh, go along and put the light on, and the little light beside that switch lets me know that I've actually put on the strobe light outside. And then the junction box on the side, all the inputs, he's put different types of connectors, so you can't muck it up putting it together. Just power on the back. And power on the back. Little 12 volt power. And there she is, I have a little blue light flashing away in here. So here we go, the last panel is going in. And young Ray's gonna belt the bottom corner in, make sure it fits nicely. So we like a nice tight fit. There she is guys. The last wall is gone in. Yoo-hoo, party time. Nice. And good. And that beautiful air conditioning unit is working and it's nice and cool in here. Bless. Don't want to go outside anymore. All right, the wall's in now, it's dynabolted to the floor, it's screwed to the ceiling, so this wall ain't going anywhere. Uh, now I've filled in the gaps with expander foam, 
because of the bolt system it was just easy to butt it up to it and then just put filler in between. So what we're doing now is I've put up a couple of brackets here on each side here because this is where the TV is going to go. Okay, so I'm putting a 42 inch LED screen up here. Um, that's for movie, de movie editing and stuff like that for future stuff. So I'm putting an extra thick piece in like I did with the air conditioning. So there'll be another 12 mil plate going in here. Screw them in place. Then I'll put the outer sheet on so it'll give you a total of 19 mil thickness of timber to screw into. And what I'm going to do because of the steel bar in the centre, the centre of the bracket, I will put a couple of steel screws in as well and that will make damn sure it doesn't come off the wall. Um, so all the stuff's in, the wiring's already pulled out through the wall. I've got to get these two panels up. Um, and then I can go along and um, get the skin and put the first skin now how I'm laying this out is I'm putting a centerpiece so 1200 by 24 in the center then it's 20 uh, 1200 wide 1200 each side with a little bit left over on each end so it nearly fits perfectly but we've got the round angle which will cover it all up later on but for the center I wanted to make it as a showpiece so a strip of that nice timber will actually go down each side of these joins and this will be a nice, possibly either the nice purple colour that's going on the sound booth or it'll be the orange colour of the door which will go in the centre and then the blue on the out. Or, or either or, I don't know which way around I'm going to do it at the moment. But anyway, so that's why I'm making it a bit of a feature in the centre and that's why the skin's in the centre. Alright, let's better get into it, eh? All right, there you go, the plates are in. So the 12 mil um, plates have been put in. They don't have to be screwed down really tight. They're really only being held in place because once you sink a screw from the other side, they're gonna be stuck to the back of the board anyway. So I've only put three screws to hold it in, keep it in place, that's all it's there for. Once it's screwed on, it's then tight. I've had to add a couple of, an extra inner stud, one on that side, one on the other side there because the, the join's gonna be slightly offset. Um, so I've gotta make that all nice and level. I've got a bit at the bottom of the stud that is sticking out a bit far. I'm going to have to chisel that off and smooth it off so where the join is, they join nicely. Same as the other side there. That one there's right. The inside one's a little bit off. Um, yeah, and then I'm ready to go. I'll put the first skin in. Uh, I've got to drill a couple of holes there to get the cabling through. Other than that, then that's done. And then I'll put a sheet on each side. Uh, there will be a little bit cut off each side there because they're just a little bit higher than the outer wall. Uh, and then there'll be a triangular piece to go in a bit later. I've got to put a bit of gap fill at the top um, just to fill up uh, some holes, just to get rid of um, some noise if I can. Other than that, she's ready to go and I can put the skin on. Alright, here's some exciting times. This is the last part to the back wall, so that's all the walls finished. Uh, and this is our last little bit of the puzzle. I'm going to go in and hang on, get her on top. Go you fall off. Okay. Alright, let's uh, sink a couple of screws in and get her to stay in place. screws in and that's her. Only pretty stoked now we're finally there and uh, tomorrow we get the ceiling put on. Well here we go, we're down to the 
sort of the last legs of this studio build. Uh, the, all the walls are up, the ceilings are up. There's a little bit of work to go in the centre section there where the lights are going to hang because that's going to be like square across the top. But most of it's done, it's all up. I've got uh, two, three ceiling sheets to put up which I'm going to have to wait till uh, I've got some help to get them up because they're not easy to put up. Uh, but at the moment I'm going to be now prepping it all up, putting all the edging in. Um, I'm going to go along and uh, bog up all the holes, fix up all the trims here and then paint all this section of it. So basically uh, half of the room is going to get done um, over this week. Basically the next um, in-depth stuff is going to be when I start doing the wall plates and I have to do the design on, on all of that stuff. At the moment I'm still doing a little bit of preliminary drawing so I've bought my um, patch panel that's going to go into my um, console desk uh, so that will go along and then I have basically all these will run from the plate here into my patch panel and then from the patch panel I can patch it into the interface into my unit or I can run it through outboard gear so I'm setting it up so I can actually add gear as I go along and uh, yeah go recordings that way so that part of it's pretty fiddly I'm uh, trying to make sure I've got everything wired the right way and put everything together correctly that's probably going to be the hardest part because I've got what is it 12 inputs to put in and another six headphone sets a couple wall plates for the USB stuff but other than that uh, most of it's done I've got to get the tile floor tiles in because I want to have I want to get this wall finished off first uh, so I can get this wall plate done and then I can put my console back but to put my console back I've got to get my floor tiles so I'm getting um, carpet tiles and I'm going to run a line from the door to here and spread it out here so I can put this in place and then I don't have to worry about it and once that's set in place then you know I can go from there and do the rest <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed it today. I hope you liked the videos. Please give us a thumbs up. And please, if you can, subscribe to my Facebook channel as well. Uh, the details are below. And uh, have a great one, and we'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. Thank you.